I'm here in uh, Southern Rock Hill, South Carolina, off Interstate 77 at a Scotchman's Travel Plaza. They just finished installing a new DC fast charger, but the big news is this box over here. It's a Zooster 100, and what you're looking at is the first North American install of a Zooster 100 by Israeli startup Zeust. I spoke to one of their employees yesterday while they were finishing the calibration on that. His name was, let's see, Izaki Zapir from Zeus. And I learned a lot from him about the technology. It's really cool stuff. The way it works is instead of storing energy in batteries, it uses a kinetic system to store energy. And what that affords is locations like this that don't have utility services sufficient for fast DC fast charging and instead stuck in like the 50 kilowatt range. You can put in a unit like this and it will basically perform a site upgrade for your location at a lower cost than uh, what it would cost through the utility to do an entire site, site upgrade. And sometimes in rural areas like this, a site upgrade might not even be possible. So pretty cool technology. We're going to go over all that here in just a minute. Zeus in Hebrew means to move. The company is based in Israel and Hebrew is their native tongue. So that's where the name of the company came from. The Zooster 100 Kinetic Power Booster has a 15 year service life and it solves the problem of low grid connections for site hosts in order to dispense DC fast charging at a higher rate without having to pay for a costly site upgrade. The flywheels spin at 1700 RPM and there are eight flywheels per Zooster 100. Each flywheel is a half a ton of steel in a vacuum sealed capsule on a magnetic bearing. They add an additional 100 kilowatts for 15 minutes. Once the flywheels reach 1700 RPM, they magnetically levitate in order to draw just a very small amount of current in order to maintain their RPM until needed. Apparently batteries, like the ones in the free wire boost chargers, um, wear out much more quick than what the Zooster is able to maintain. It has little to no service. Mr. Zapier opened the door of the Zooster 100 yesterday and allowed me to take this picture. And so this is what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, the flywheels are on the sides. There is a heat pump in order to maintain environment, pumping cool air in during the summertime. Otherwise, it's a very simple, elegant solution for locations wanting to provide DC fast charging and get around the demand charges. Here's a marketing vi video from Zeus explaining the technology. Zooster 100, the first of its kind kinetic power booster based on a unique flywheel technology that enables sustainable and cost-effective rollout of ultra-fast EV charging stations anywhere. So how does it work? First, Zooster 100 is connected to the grid using a standard three-phase connection. This energy is then used to accelerate several flywheel modules made up of a mass that rotates around an axis and by using patented frictionless levitation at 17,000 RPM, stores it as kinetic energy. Once an EV is plugged into the charger, the flywheel decelerates while converting the kinetic energy back into electrical energy and then into the EV charger increasing available grid power by up to 100 kilowatts and providing the boost necessary for ultra-fast charging in minutes. With its embedded energy management system and scalability options, it can interface with any charging vendor and power source without costly grid upgrades and peak demand charges. Zooster 100 reduces total cost of ownership significantly, offering a 15-year lifespan and over 200,000 charge cycles with uncompromising inherent safety measures. It offers a supremely sustainable solution with a carbon footprint far lower than any chemical battery system. Ultra fast charging, today, anywhere, for good. Zoos. Kyle Connor interviewed Mr. Zapier at EVS 36 in Sacramento, California this year. I'll link the video down below in the description. Thanks for watching.